What's up America, Tony from The Real American Outdoors here and today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my ice fishing tackle. So the box itself is a flambeau box. Uh, it's pretty simple, it just has these two blue latches here on the sides. And then it also has these two little hooks or little holes here if you want to add a lock if you really want to. But you know, I like it, it's nice, durable, heavy duty plastic. And here we have on the inside, and we'll just start uh, going uh, from the top with the rod. So I keep my four rods here. I have two jigging rods and two more. Uh, spoon, uh, more crankbait rods, so we'll just get those out of the way. They sit on top of these uh, little foam um, dividers here. They have the little notches in them. You could also use these for like two-piece rods if you want, um, if you can break them down. Uh, so we'll start on the left. So first over here, I have two uh, 37, or sorry, 3500 lower lock boxes. These come with attack logic. And in the first one here, this is how I keep a lot of my uh, tip-up uh, equipment. So we have all these bobbers here. I have a lot of hooks, uh, tip-up weights to get depth. Also we have our leaders, or walleye leaders, and I have some little split shot weights here. These have a tack logic so, you know, keeps everything nice and in place and secure. So this is the tip-up box. And these have nice dividers, little plastic dividers here. Next is a jig box, another Lure Lock 3500. I uh, have all my jigs over here with the soft plastics and also a couple crankbaits and some spoons as well for the jigging setup. So that's what I have in the tackle boxes themselves. And then also I keep a bunch of my, right next to it as you can see, I keep a bunch of my spare line. I got some uh, Trilene. Some Suffolk Ice Magic. Also have some Cabela's Mono here. Um, also have some random walleye leaders. Ice Suffolk Ice Braid. Then I also keep my pliers over here as well and a you know, couple more spools of fishing line. So moving to the middle, have more fishing line. This is more heavier duty fluorocarbon for my leaders. I uh, got some more trilene. Here I have my ice fishing gloves, so I have the cheap Walmart special neoprene gloves, and then I also have the nicer clam neoprene gloves. I really like these, especially if you're uh, ever going to stick your hand in the water. They're not really waterproof, but they're water resistance up until the point, and they get the job done. I also have these guys. Uh, for walking on fresh ice. I don't use them too much, but I have them for the for my boots if I ever want to use them or need them. Moving over here, we have ice picks, especially for safe ice. These come apart. You know, you never know when you need those, just in case of emergency. Also have, these are the toe warmers. These are the ones that are adhesive. They stick to your sock. Keep them. Nice pack of them, whether it's for me or for someone else who may need it. And then we have, these are just the hand warmers. So they have a bunch more hand warmers in here as well for me and whoever I'm not with. They always get them on sale at Walmart at the end of the year or at the end of the winter. And then, you know, they're all in the clearance section with us and sell. And lastly, I have my more tip up line. So I got some 40 pound and then micro, some more micro ice. And then they, which is not tip up line, but then I have some more 40 pounds. So 40 pounds come kind of my go to tip up line, but 50 works just as well. So this is my setup uh, for, you know, mostly uh, jigging stuff. I do have my tip-up stuff in here too. I keep my tip-ups in an actual five-gallon bucket, but uh, um, I, this works well for me. Just throw it in the sled, throw it in the back of the truck, transporting it there. It can carry a ton of stuff. Could probably even carry more in here, but you know, it's not bass fishing. This is, just, you know, this is ice fishing. This is just what I carry. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on on uh, YouTube. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Also check us out in Real American Outdoors for the American Fishing Challenge. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.